Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm planning to do only eye makeup because I've already done the rest of my face makeup and I'm only going to use this palette, the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And here is the palette. It's very beautiful. It has a very beautiful uh, color scheme both some wilder colors but also some browns some purples also so anyway today i'm thinking of um, using mainly this one wait i'm gonna bring it closer but first i think we're gonna need some kind of color for the crease so we're going to start with this one if you can see, called Burkina. I have no idea if I pr pronounced that right, but I hope it's okay anyway. Okay, so I'm just taking some product on my blending brush. And I'm just blending it into the crease. And honestly, you don't have to like blend it all right away. You can like put a little product first so you actually have something to blend. So I'm just placing it first. And now I'm just going to blend that. I also just kind of wipe off the brush on my hands sometimes. Uh, especially if you just put the color on. Because I feel that it gets... Or I feel that it's like product left on the brush when you're supposed to blend. So just remove that first. I'm not I'm now going to take this Ada color. It's like a <clears throat> dark brownish red color. It's very pretty. There. And actually I wish I had like a smaller blending brush than this. But I don't really have one. If you have like one of those precise blending brushes, I suggest to use that. I don't really have one. But anyway, I'm picking up that Ada color. And I'm gonna try to put it more precisely in the crease, if that makes sense. I feel like the first color, we blended it out. Uh, so it's not only in the crease anymore, but this color, I want to focus on the crease, in the crease. Also, I like to go up a little bit, just a little bit above the crease, because uh, I'm thinking of doing a cut crease later and if you're like me and have like semi hooded eyes then I suggest putting the cut crease uh, or I mean, I mean I suggest putting the shadow a little bit above the cut crease um, because that creates more eyelid space basically
just wiping the brush off a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this eye off camera instead later. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye first with you guys. So taking this darkest color called Fulani. That one. I'm going to put this one only in the outer crease. So only from like here to here. I'm gonna take like a brush that is a little bit slimmer, like this one. And I'm going to place the color first before I blend it. Okay. There's like a little bit of fallout here, so I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just wipe that away before we accidentally smudge it. So taking my fluffy brush again and uh, I'm just going to blend that. Also let's clean it off a little bit more. I zoomed in a little bit so you could see a little bit better. Um, okay, so we are going to use my Clinique All About Ice Concealer uh, for your cut crease. So I'm just taking some of that and I'm putting it on my lid. But I'm not moving too far up because we're gonna look upwards. We're gonna look up. And as you can see, the concealer transfers. Just putting some more on there. Looking up again and it transfers so we get an outline for our cut crease now we're gonna take a concealer brush Oops. okay so taking a concealer brush i am going to blend this out Adding some more concealer. I'm also making sure that my concealer brush is like very flat by doing this. And then we're gonna create the outline. Also, it can help if you lift up your eyelid a little bit, especially if you have hooded eyes, like me. As you can see, wait, maybe we should zoom in a little bit. So the concealer is already a little bit above my crease now, but I think I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. This time taking the concealer directly on the brush, I'm lifting my lid again. I try to drag the brush
and don't worry if it's not completely straight and if it's looking a bit crazy because we are going to fix that and it cannot always looks kind of crazy when you just put a cut crease on uh, it looks much better when you put the actual eyeshadow on later I'm also just gonna take a uh, what it is called a uh, blending sponge a beauty blender right a beauty blender and sorry this one is a little bit dirty but i'm gonna i'm gonna clean it after this it's okay uh, and don't even touch the cat crease we just did just on the center of the lid So now for the fun part, we're taking the same palette and we're going to take that beautiful color called Casablanca. Honestly, I think I'm going to start off by just using my finger. Sometimes fingers are actually better than brushes in my opinion. Just make sure your hands are clean before you do this because you don't want to put a lot of germs in your palette. And I'm trying to go as far up as I can without ruining the outline we did. I just wiped off the excess on my hand. And by the way, these colors are actually really good. They are very highly pigmented. There are, uh, There is some fallout, as you maybe can see, especially from the glitter shadows. But in my opinion, it's quite easy to just remove with a big brush like this. Okay, so we're going to pick up a really flat brush, as you can see. And then we're going to take some MAC Prep and Prime. Obviously, you don't need uh, this one. You can have any other brand. It doesn't matter. We just want to get the brush a little bit wet. And then we're picking up some more of that Casablanca. And we're gonna put this as close as the line, as close to the line as we can. Okay, now just wiping that brush off, trying to get rid of all that glitter. If you have another flat brush, uh, use that one. I don't have another one, so I'm going to use this same brush, hopefully without the glitter. And I'm going to use... that first color we used burkina just picking up some of that and i'm going to outline the cut crease so right above the glitter and this is just to make the cut crease extra sharp
also taking some of that Ada color as we used before. And doing the same thing. Also going back to my blending brush, I'm just going to blend a little bit above uh, this glitter color. Do not touch the glitter. I'm going to take some of this darkest color, the Fulani one. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner. Now I'm going to use the Stilla Smudge Pot um, for eyeliner. Now I'm gonna take this color called Cairo. It's like a uh, orangey brown with golden glitter in it. It's super pretty. And I'm going to put this on my bottom eyelashes. I'm just slightly blending it. I'm going to take the darkest color again, the Fulani color, and I'm just going to put that in the most outer space. And now I'm just going to pop on some lashes, and I'm going to use the the Eyelore Most Wanted. So my camera accidentally died, but I finished this eyeliner, or I fixed it a little bit. Because I thought it was a little bit too slim, so I made it a little bit thicker, and then I fixed this eye off camera. So yeah, let's continue. Um, also, I put on fake eye fake eyelashes. So now I'm just gonna take some of that um, Clinique concealer, and I just wanna clean up uh, underneath the eyeliner. Also, if you want, you can highlight a little bit under the eyebrows. Also, I just cleaned this brush off. And I'm thinking we're going to take some of that Giza color, this really light one. Uh, We're just gonna pop that into the inner corner. Also, I just completely forgot mascara, so I'm just going to put that on. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.